Good evening. We begin with breaking news. This is the former nurse accused of swapping syringes to steal painkillers. The University of Colorado Hospital is now alerting dozens of patients about possible hepatitis C exposure. Adam Hammond is live outside the hospital in Aurora tonight. And Adam, she may have done this before. That's right. Casey Unruh was a nurse right here at the dialysis center at the University of Colorado's hospital until she was fired for stealing fentanyl from those patients. That's a very powerful painkiller. And she has previous charges very similar to this at a medical center in Oklahoma. Casey Unruh's case is shockingly common in Colorado. It's one of only six states that don't require background checks for doctors, nurses, and other medical professionals when they apply for a license. I chatted with Colorado State Representative Susan Lantine, who is introducing a bill to add mandatory background checks for anyone providing health care. And in the past, professions have pushed back on doing this. I think they had a lot of misconceptions about what that meant. Higher application fees would cover that cost of added background checks. But it's a whole lot cheaper than dealing with the aftermath of a patient safety scare. Lantine says how this bill will come together is a work in progress, but one big challenge is, in fact, the cost in what's already shaping up to be a pretty tight budget year. Earlier this year, lawmakers passed a law requiring all surgical techs and medical assistants to be fingerprinted after being hired. This was in response to Swedish medical surge tech Rocky Allen. Allen exposed thousands of patients to HIV while stealing fentanyl. And like Unruh, Allen was also accused of stealing drugs in other states before coming to Colorado to work. Adam Hammond for Denver 7.